-huh. Every day I, I get inboxes <laughs> tell me my money is a two minute man. Uh -huh. I get those problems. Ten seconds. <laughs> I get those mutasari wabari men. <laughs> you know when you are expecting a series, you get a mini episode. <laughs> and the guy is tired and he turns over to sleep. <laughs> the woman is tormented. <laughs> so men are literally like lightning. Shua, and they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> the woman was warming up for activity. And so Caro, is this allowed on TV? <laughs> <laughs> so we, we have the, the men were addicted to sex. Mm -hmm. And do you, do you know we need to announce to boys yes. that masturbation can actually empty your batteries before the real performance. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Frederick? I don't know which high school. If you went to boys' school, boys had funny activities with the beds at night. Yes. Especially if there were girls I around. Didn't go to boarding school, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you the adventure. You missed out. <laughs> you missed out oh, on goodness. something. <laughs> but if girls were around, immediately the school bus of the girls entered uh -huh. and there was perfume with atmosphere. Yeah. Boys started producing funny voices like eagles. Like, 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 <laughs> peeping through the window. Primitive behavior. Boys were excited <laughs> to see skirts. The teacher couldn't teach. Ah, let me tell you about boys' school adventures. The chronicles of boys' school was funny. Oh, <laughs> so the moment girls showed up, boys became he got quite ah. literal. <laughs> and then they borrowed trousers from form ones, the new ties from form ones. From fours never had a, a new cloth. <laughs> they used to oh, borrow from yeah. form ones. I was tall and I was a form one, so I used to be borrowed by many form fours yes. <laughs> because my clothes can fit. And they're also the highest is stolen <laughs> because yeah. they can fit many of them. Yes. So you you. Oh. And then they go hugging girls. The problem with hugging girls, <laughs> you come close, oh you come so close yeah. to smell, but not to eat. So you left dream eating at night, <laughs> and you hear boys harassing mattresses at night. <laughs> the teacher, the teacher used to warn us, yes. well, "I'm not bringing that school." So there's a, a principal of a girls who came to tell us to reduce the number of letters yeah. we are writing to our girls yeah. because they can't concentrate. Mm -hmm. So boys are there's this addiction, and then from then they start imagining just sex, 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 mm. sex thing. They, they get addicted and are hooked mm. to pornography, masturbation things. The last reason men have cheat is anger. The men were angry, wow. angry at their fathers. Mm. The way the father was dictatorial. Picture the father at home holding a newspaper and the radio there, and it should not be touched. Don't make noise. Daddy is reading paper. And even when he's talking to his son, he's a corporal language. Manaume. Hmm. So you're back. Manaume is out. <laughs> you know? Hmm. Uh, tell your brother, come here. Uh, so I hear uh, you, you saw what, what did you score? Uh, C plus. Are you serious? Okay. <laughs> what is the school fees? I've sorted out. That's done. They, they come on weekends, and all they do is make noise. Exactly. The whole week they've been, not been there. They come on weekends, make noise, a whole weekend, go back. Exactly. So boys grow angry at how the father harass the family. That anger, you may ask me where it goes to sexuality, but it affects your self-esteem. There are four emotions that eat your self-esteem like cancer. Mm. Anger, fear, guilt, and shame. Anger is I have been wronged. It's a feeling that I have been wronged. Mm. Uh, fear is I'm in the wrong environment. Guilt is I've done something wrong. Shame is I am a wrong person. Shame is the final thing of all these other emotions. Once you begin to feel like you're not supposed to be around, you cannot perform, you can't even rise up to the question. Sex requires you to be confident a little bit that you can carry it through. Mm. They can do it. Mm. But the moment you remember <laughs> that you're not that, that the generator switches off. <laughs> the generator at home, the tuk tuk, they use a rope. <laughs> To start, <laughs> so it switches off. I've seen men who tell me, "Men, I wanted, but I couldn't." Another, uh, I've told you the four reasons. I'll, I'll tell you one more warning to boys, yes, to men. Today, today, I wanted to be buzzed because we are men here. Yes, <laughs> you don't mm. hear. You don't hear that a lot. <laughs> In fact, if I knew you'd be on board, I would have asked, "Can we do men exclusive?" <laughs> <laughs> As ladies to Lucky ass today. Lucky ass. Lucky ass. This is very rare. True. This is very rare. You don't True. get men talking relationships. I tell you men are because what is your body behind? Kill away. Kill away. Me, I no. And every man you. Exactly. And every man is a political analyst and football analyst. Everybody. Every <laughs> Every man in Kenya. It's true. It's, true. it's so, absolutely true. <laughs> But have you noticed, and I liked this about Switch TV, mm. that there's a young generation that is not too much interested in politics, they want life itself. 
True. They want discussions about life. Yeah. I think the deep discussions. We're just tired about this. That. <laughs> so L let's get back to this. Yes. Who cheats the most? Men. Why? Because of the four reasons that you're giving us. One, they are allowed by society to be polygamous. And if the laws in Kenya, actually. If a lady tells uh, the, uh, her mother-in-law that your son cheated on me, even her own mother, like my husband cheated, okay, does he come home? <laughs> even if he's left another woman. Mm. He, as long as he comes home, he's still your man. Does he provide? <laughs> but if a man tells her mother, his mother, my wife cheated, what? To fiaco! When you are in a gun. Exactly. Because... And we are not mm. saying it's excusable, but society mm. is patriarchal and is very biased. Mm. So men have a lot of leeway. And I want to ask women, if you want to know whether your man will cheat, ask whether he believes in monogamy, first of all. Believes determine behavior. If your man tells you, a man is like a cock, doesn't stay with one chicken, what he believes soon will become the behavior. You need a man who has a conversed belief in monogamy, in faithfulness, in fidelity. So do we have that in Africa? We do. I keep telling you, we are the beginning of a new generation. Absolutely. Do you know our mothers were just mothers and that's all. They were not allowed to pursue their dreams or to become anything. Because they were domineered by society and men. Majority of churches, it was men leading. Majority of institutions was men leading. Today, yeah. I'm so Even happy. Even the men, society itself. It, it was men leading. And I, I, I keep telling and I want to warn men again. Mm. If you want a woman to be faithful to you, get her first of all at the right time. Find a woman who is done exploring. Leave these university students alone. 22, 21, 23 years old, don't know where they're going. At pre-25, women are still figuring out themselves and their life. Mm. And they don't know whether they like tall, dark, handsome, or short, fat, and brown. They don't care which one. <laughs> They don't know yet yeah. which one is yeah. which. Mm -hmm. One guy asked me, and on my shujade, this was answering this just This girl texted me saying she wants to tattoo at all. I don't believe in tattoo because of church. She blocked me, went tattooed, and we missed. <laughs> she thought, I've read tattoo, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> the, wow. the, wow. the tattoo was not the fight. Mm. He got this girl is twenty three, mm. and he got her when she's still, still young, trying out still things young. about life. And I told her, "What if next time you find that she has shaved half of her head and put a squirrel or dreadlocks on the other half, <laughs> and she has gone to dance Rastafari with its skirt lifted and eyes closed? <laughs> it's a party." <laughs> <laughs> so, she's exploring. Yeah, Will you sit there and time. try try to tame that wild spirit? I told you, get women who are 25 and above. At least women who are done with experimentations. They are ready to calm down and settle in family. So I want to ask men, there are girls who are hooked up on their exes. This is the second reason why women cheat. Mm. Women cheat, I told you, number one is when you try to tame her too soon. Before she's 25. Mm. She doesn't know herself. That's mm -hmm. uh, the doctor was here another time we discussed the psychology. I'm trying to put up a book together to people because this no knowledge is so missing in our curriculum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's so we evident. <laughs> it's yeah. so evident. Uh, uh, young Africans are not taught what you say. Exactly, your brain stabilizes at 25. That's when the reasoning department called prefrontal cortex matures. Before then, you're using amygdala, which is an emotional brain, which feels for acquisition of skills, learning mathematics, algebra, da, 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 not making long-term decisions like choice of a mate, settling comp posting emotions, contain yourself, you can only do that at 25. There are people who marry pre-25, it's okay, but many of them have to sacrifice who they are because their identity had not yet formed and they mm. find a way before mm. they knew the path of their life. So they have to sustain, sustain the marriage at the expense of their lives. That's why most women never became anything in our generations. They were forced to stay in marriage and become nothing else. Those who became something here Kind of slaves. Kind of slaves. Yes, exactly. Uh, that's why most women who became great had to divorce. Because when she chose to pursue a career, the man could, it's because could he not. found her when she was just a tame girl, home girl, home, you know, at all. But now she's trying to become larger, do something out there, sing songs and motivate people, you know. Those women who went up had sometimes to sacrifice the marriage. Those who stayed in marriage, many of them had to sacrifice the calling if you marry prematurely. But if you marry at the right time, you, you, you know where you're going in life, you know you'll be a public person, you know you'll be a singer. So you marry a person describing what you're becoming so that they choose you with that future in mind. The other reason women cheat, I told you, is one, women cheat a lot for revenge. If you cheat and she knows it and she doesn't break the marriage, she will get even. Mm. <laughs> mm. And women are good in plotting long-term revenge. <laughs> Long term, for 10 years. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and she can make you raise a kid that is not yours. Mm. 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 A question. Yes. Hi, Fred. You're talking via... Our SMS line that is triple one triple four triple one. Hi Fred, I'm Lois from Taveta. Today's show is so interesting. Thank you. 
kindly asked Benjamin, is it true to the narrative that no man can love one woman and one woman only? There is are, it true? No, it's not true. You got that quote from the Sikh men camp we talked about. <laughs> we have the gentleman fraternity. I want to invite you <laughs> mm, to us. Please. <laughs> Tafadhal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we are many. <laughs> Only that we are not noisy. Mm. <laughs> the, the, it's the wrong guys who make news. <laughs> Remember, if a dog bites a man, that's mm. not news. But mm. if a man bites a dog, that's news. news. So the men who have been biting dogs are the ones who have been making news. Mm. Please understand, we are very faithful men. Committed, devoted. The reason we need to tell women why we are faithful. Mm. Because our calling is greater than that nonsense. True. I can't risk all what I'm doing <laughs> mm, <laughs> for, 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 some... for three minutes of heavy breathing. Talk to us on Triple One, Triple Four, Triple. <laughs> All right, we are with Benjamin Zulu, psychologist, right here on Full Circle. We'll be coming back with more on Triple One, Triple Four, Triple One. Your question, you can throw them to me.